Something that I really like about Seeks is how we learn how we learn. Like we learn about how can we figure out what reasonable sources are for finding out stuff in the future. And we're also learning more about like problems, I guess, and like ways to solve them. And like we're actually doing things and just learning about them. In a few years, things just aren't going to be the same. And I want things to just get better instead of worse. People often underestimate kids. I say kids because like people see 12 year olds like, oh, they're just a kid. No, if you really give a 12 year old a chance to explore these really deep questions that they're ready for, they'll blow you away. The charter school has a lot of flexibility in how it can approach its daily routines and daily practices where students get to have a question and dive into it and be a part of it and go out and experience the world as it truly is. It's important to note that most of the ideas for this school I did not come up with myself. They're like best practices in education. I kind of pulled together a whole bunch of ideas that I saw from other schools of things that work really well and put them together in this package of the schedule. I would say the schedule is the one thing about our school that really is like unique to SEEKS. So right now this is advisory play. Uh, so at SEEKS we like to start our days with some type of physical activity because uh, we believe that it really helps to prime the brain for learning. And there's a lot of research that backs this up as well. Creativity is part of it too. There's a strong arts program, performing arts as well as visual arts. The school day starts a little later because middle schoolers need to sleep. Um, so it's really based upon what do kids at this age range need in the world today. Students at our school have math, science, English, social studies, arts, and elective. Every student is enrolled in one of those courses every semester. And at the end of the day, there's that nearly two hour long EQS course, where students and teachers together examine a complex issue of sustainability from multiple different perspectives and content area lenses. Well, the main thing that makes Seeks different is EQS. Um, it stands for Essential Questions of Sustainability. And this year there are six EQSs, and my EQS is called EQS Vi. And Vi in Hawaiian um, means fresh water. And our central question is, what is our relationship to Vi, and how can we advocate for its preservation in creative ways? The concept of an essential question is that there's no right answer, and it can be examined from multiple lenses, multiple times, and learn different things every time. As students are coming out here, they're thinking about their relationship to Vi, to fresh water, to the stream that's in the back of our school. And maybe when they think about that, they start thinking about where the water comes from. Where does that water touch all the way when it comes from the mountains down to the neighborhoods and then finally out to the sea? There's no real life project that isn't interdisciplinary and yet there's no classes in most schools for interdisciplinary projects, so we designed one where they could apply those skills and tools to real world projects that are relevant to the world that we live in. On the surface of the anode, there is oxygen being created, and on the surface of the cathode, there's hydrogen being created. And the only byproduct of a hydrogen car is H2O gas. The thing that really, like the big hook for me, because I was on the finance committee, not technically a part of the board for like the first year was when I came and saw the eighth graders do their projects and sat down and listened to them and got to see how thoroughly they were getting involved in these projects and the joy that they showed with that. Like eighth graders can't fake that stuff. A lot of these students, they crave that opportunity to be seen as more than a child and when you give them that platform to really speak their voice and have that opportunity to actually make change off of the things that they think and feel and believe, it's the most powerful learning tool. It's like you realize that if I am proactive and want to see these things change and be a part of this thing, I can, I can do that. When I really thought about all of the problems in the world that I care about, the answer to all of them begins with education. There are some great foundational structures in place that I truly believe support kids. What we do here is so purposefully and intentionally built and carried out by teachers who are genuinely trying every single day to do right for our generations of students coming up. And we love them and we want to, we just, they're, they're our family. In order for our world to heal, we need more spaces like this reminding us that we are all connected, that everything is connected. 
Our school has grown and changed in so many ways. I'm so grateful. So many people have put so much into Sikhs. I think what it says is that we're a community and it takes a community to grow meaningful things. And, and we've done that in 10 years of it. And we have something really beautiful to show for it. And we have a lot of students who have had really powerful experiences that are actually now out in the world making meaningful change and bringing something of Sikhs along with them to that next place. And I'm like, I'm proud. How amazing would it be when we have the physical space and the resources to be able to have a middle and a high school, when these amazing students that everybody sees and can see what they can do, we don't want this experience to just be for 180 kids at a time. We need stewards of planet Earth and healthy, effective citizens of the world, and we don't need 180 of those at a time. We need like 8 billion of those at a time. But we need the facility and we need the resources to make that happen. Thank you. Mahalo to the people that bought into this concept of a school from the very beginning and the people that have put their energy and love and time into it along the way from the students to the teachers to the families to the board members to the community members. You're the best. <laughs>